What is our real value proposition? Is it what we've come up with as we're sitting down and we've sort of decided in our mind what we believe are the reasons why a person will buy our product or service? That might be how we enter the market originally. But your true value proposition is what you hear from feedback from customers that have actually bought your product or service, have been using it for a while. And when you go to them later and you, you talk with them and you ask them, what is it that our product or service does now to improve your business? You know, what were the reasons that you decided to take a chance on what we have or why you came into our restaurant or why you bought our product or why you chose to go ahead with our service? What was it about you know, what we do that made you decide that you wanted to give us a try? And then importantly, or most importantly, is why do you continue to use our product or service? What value, what benefit is it giving you that is gonna cause you to continue to consume our product or service and to tell others that they should? Because that is a true value proposition. So as important as it is to get a sale originally, it's equally as important to go back to your customers that are now using your product or service a little while later and talk with them and find out what is that satisfaction level? What is it that they're doing with it? Think of your product or service as being a tool and a tool that can be used in a lot of different ways. Okay? You might have in your own mind how I would use that tool, that hammer, that wrench, whatever it is that we create or that service. But what I want to know is, how does my customer use that tool? Because that is really that value part that's driving. So we may create a product or service with our own idea in mind of how it's going to be used, but we want to find out later from our customers, how are they using it? Because there is a greater likelihood that if there are numerous customers that are using something that we sell in a different way, and realizing value that if we change our messaging and adapt it to the value that we're hearing back from people that are using our product or service, that we may have a better way of communicating that message out and attracting more customers to buy our product. If you want to learn more about how to validate a product or service, check out my blog on the critical steps to validating a product or service. Thanks very much.